Okay, in this video we're going to talk about riverbed reporting. So let's come over here and um, my riverbed interfaces would show up here. I'll just uh, type type in river because I think that's what I call it. Yeah, and I could drill down on the interface or I could just come over here and type in river as well. There's my device. Let's go ahead and run a report. All the traditional NetFlow reports will work in Riverbed Exports version 9, I believe, of NetFlow. Uh, so you multicast information. Um, we're giving you uh, usernames if you have integration with Microsoft Active Directory or Cisco ICE. Um, there's all your riverbed reports. Before I show you those, let's go ahead and take a look at the applications that are being uh, that the riverbed appliance is seeing. So uh, there we go. And let's say I want to take a look at specifically NetMagic. I can either drill in right here and go to riverbed, or what I can do is I you know maybe I want to take a look at multiple applications at once and uh, so what I can do is I can just drag them over there and uh, keep adding you know multiple applications but I really just want to look at the net magic stuff so I'm gonna delete that filter and, and then click apply alright there's what I want to look at net magic now I want a specific riverbed report let's go up to um, FE type round trip time and visibility give that just a little bit more real estate and um, you know that's great I got some round trip time here I can sort on that column but before I do that let's get a little bit more detail and I'll go back down to riverbed and say okay I want to know about retransmissions so this is going to give you a little bit more detail I get the source and destination address in there the in and out interface and right now I'm sorting by bytes retransmitted let's go on packets retransmitted that's what I want to see and it's not terribly high if I mouse over you can see 76 for this time frame so um, I think what I want to do is is a uh, set a threshold come over here and we'll say last hour fantastic that's what I wanted and now uh, I'm gonna save the report and I'm gonna say riverbed uh, retransmits packets and I'll save that come down here add that threshold and I'm gonna do it per row right do I want to do it per row or do I want to do a total like for this application entirely it's up to you you can do both so I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna do it per row I'm gonna say if any individual connection um, is above uh, you know 100 packets uh, give it a threat multiplier that's another video that's for um, correlating messages and increasing the threat index but so I'll set the threshold and it says hey do you want to set up a notification as well so I can um, apply who's gonna get emailed or what scripts gonna get executed to take action but I'm just gonna save it and close it uh, in this case I don't want to save it so I'm just gonna close it uh, but that's pretty much um, how setting thresholds work and I can also throw these in a bulletin board if I want into a, excuse me a dashboard so I can just say hey I want to throw this into my example uh, dashboard uh, with a table and only or graph I'll, I'll send both just to show you and then let's go back to the dashboard I'll close this go back to the dashboard go back go to a, uh, the example there's my riverbed uh, report that I just give it a little bit more real estate there and then I can put this back up there and give it a little more real estate so there's there's the report maybe I'll um, bring that up like that so if you have any questions about riverbed reporting, you want to help setting it up, just give us a call. We'll get you started right away. Thanks.